Welcome to my channel. This video is for making a double mum. I'm going to show you how I attach the ribbons and the braids and chains and some of the trinkets and fun stuff like that. Now this double mum is going to be around a hip length, which I use 18 inch long ribbons and braids and chains for that. I don't know if that's what everybody else uses, but that's my go-to size for hip length. So that's what I'm doing. I'm starting with the wide white ribbon, the acetate ribbon, or poly satin, floral satin, uh, polypropylene. There's so many names for it, and they're all a little bit different, but just one of those will work. This is probably about two and a half to three inch wide. I'm not even 100%. I'd have to look at the roll. Um, and as you see, I'm starting in the middle and just making my way out. I make them pretty wide. That way I can attach about four or five braids and have room for ribbons and other fun stuff. I'm cutting V-shapes on the ends of all my ribbons. Um, that's what I usually do for my girls' mums. I just like that pretty look with the V-shapes. You can just cut a slanted shape too, either for the girls or the boys. Um, this is just my go-to usually for the bigger full-size mums. I like to overlap these ribbons that way your end result is going to be a very full mum and you only really have to do this one layer of these ribbons if you overlap them I say about halfway across each ribbon I'm overlapping it so it's probably 20 ribbons um, easily and then I put a, a couple more on top but it just comes out so nice and full and then you can add colors and smaller ones on top and then of course the glitter and pretty ones on top of that. The bottom of these ribbons uh, the width is going to end up being around 18-19 inches when I'm done. Uh, you can tell from looking at my mat it's 18 inches uh, going north and south from your view so it's going to be a little bit wider than that and as you probably saw there on those last white ones I attached I kind of stagger them up just a little bit that's just the look I like uh, you can do them however, however you want After I'm done with the white ribbons, I like to add some nice colors. So like this, I'm doing black and red. Um, you know, I could do orange, orange and black, or blue and yellow, or blue and gold, as they call it, or purple and gold. And then um, it just adds more of the color of the schools with it. Thank you. 
Now I'm adding some silver glitter ribbons, just some sparkly wired ribbons. I take the wires out because I don't want that in there. Um, you can do different colors, whatever you want. If they ask for extra bling, then I'm going to fill that whole area in with glitter ribbons. When it comes to attaching the braids and chains, I like to lay them out and move them around and see where I really like them best or where they're going to hang the best. So I do clip them all on and hold it up or I attach it to my easel so I can kind of see how it's going to look when it's on and that way I know how everything's going to hang and lay out and so I can just move everything around a bunch of times until I get the look I really want. Now I finally decided where I wanted everything. Uh, sometimes I move them around quite a bit before I decide. Now sometimes I will change the ribbons behind the braids and chains so they pop more. Like this red, silver, and white uh, spirit chain I'm adding I put a black ribbon behind it to help make it pop more and this black and white whip braid I'm putting on top of a red ribbon that way it really pops When it comes to attaching the braids and chains and pretty ribbons uh, like this homecoming one, just remember that whichever ones you're attaching last are going to be more on top, especially if they're right next to each other. So if there's one that you want more on top, then wait till last to attach it. I know I used to tell you guys to attach the middle ones first, but it might get hidden. So that's why I attached the loop chain last there over on the side because I want it to make sure it's on top. And this homecoming ribbon, I just kind of want it in the background, so I attached it before the braids and chains on that side. But if I wanted it to stand out and be on top, I would attach it last. If you want to make a military braid like the one I'm showing there on the right, or it's at the bottom of your screen, I just made double the length that I needed and then gathered it in the middle, folded it over the middle, and took a bow with a Chanel stem and just tied it together there. Now I'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like with the flowers on. I'm going to attach some different bells and some trinkets and I'm going to use some pretty ribbons like some glitter ribbons and probably some organzas and soft satins and just some really delicate pretty looking ribbons I like to attach things, these things with.
Now I'm going to do a little feather puff and I just cut off a small piece of feather boa um, and I just roll it up and I staple it on. It wasn't as big as I wanted it to be so I cut off another small amount and stapled that on too to make it fuller and thicker. Now this little bow is going to have several different ribbons. I think I've got homecoming and some different patterned ribbons and I'm just making, taking scrap little pieces and making a cute little bow out of it. I'm gluing this to that silver glitter ribbon, which is kind of meshy or organza type part of it is. And so that hot glue is going to go right through that. So you have to be very careful. I wasn't pressing down in the middle at first until it had time to cool down. I'm attaching this diamond wrap, this flower diamond wrap, and what I'm doing is I am gluing it to the ribbons, and I'm gluing it far enough down where it won't be in the way when I attach the backers to each other. So I'm not gluing it to the backer, I'm gluing it down onto the ribbon far enough away that I can staple all those backers together and won't have to worry about that chunk being in the way. Okay, I'm finished for now. I will be uploading more videos on this showing how I make the top backer and how I attach everything together and decorate the top. Um, so just watch out for that and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell and share and comment and everything else. Thank you.